Hi everyone, this is Kareen from DBSPH Academy. Uh, today, so our video is about the tips to pass a client interview. This will be the first part and the second part will be the most commonly asked question during the interview that you may be encounter once you will apply for a job position. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so interview process is not really exciting to those who are looking for a job. Why is not really exciting? Because it will make them nervous. But there are some people who are really excited to get interviewed because they, they notice your application. Not like if you're waiting for nothing. So to make you calm during the interview, I'm going to give you some tips to pass the client interview. So to give you a short background, uh, I already interviewed almost 200 applicants and I really noticed that not everyone are ready to answer the question, especially if they are in a client interview. For initial interview, yes, they are good. In a passing code, they are good. They are really um, confident. But when they are in a client interview, lumalabas that they are really nervous and not really prepared. So... In this lesson, you really need to listen. You really need to take down notes and apply it once you are in an interview. Okay? So first, you have to make sure that you have a fast, stable internet connection and a good microphone. So I encountered that to some applicant that during the interview, they experience intermittent internet connection, and we have a hard time understanding them, or we can see them. So, parang na freeze na sila doon of Zoom. And then, if they don't have a good microphone, I can't hear them well, or we can't hear them well. So, um, instead na magkukuha namin yung content ng kanilang sinasabi, na distract kami doon sa ingay from their microphone. So let's say um, you're, you're using a headset. If you put the microphone near on your nose, instead of hearing your voice, we're going to hear the air that comes from your nose. So it really affects your communication skills. Be you know, um, most of our clients are really particular with the communication skills, especially if you're working as a call, call caller or telemarketers and some high-end or um, heavy tasks ng general VA. Kasi may mga general VA that they also do inbound calls or they, they're making calls. So, yon. Okay? So, just a tip. You have 15 minutes before the interview. Check your equipment. Kasi if you just open your PC five minutes or two minutes before the interview, mararatel ka. So, it really affects your focus and Instead of you re being ready during the interview, you will get distracted. The second tip is research about your client and his or her company. Why you need to do your research? Because you have to make sure that you are really dealing with the client. Mahamamaya, fake yan or scammer yan. This is just one of the reasons. Other reason is why you need to research is because you have to have an idea. Of course, you need to have an idea about the company, how it works, about the client. Kasi it will give you an additional grade. Kung baga, kung may grading, kung baga, ito, nag, ay, nag-review ka. Yan. You know uh, about my company. I really impressed that you really make. A re oh, uh, personally, I really like those applicants who are really making a research about our company or, or our client's company. So it means that they are really interested and they are really interested to help the client to grow their business. Okay, so next. Be honest about everything on your resume and portfolio. So siguro you already um, heard that I mentioned that I don't like the 
fake it until you make it. Kasi um, there will be, you know, digital karma, right? So maybe you pass the interview, but there will, in the long run, baka may consequence yun, you might lose your client or if the client proved talagang you're not being honest during the interview, you will lose your job. So, if you're a newbie in a VA or freelancing world, that's totally fine. But, if, of course, if you have some work experiences before, like in the office or in a call center, you can tell them that you have an experience. Let's say you are going to apply as a cold calling specialist. So, you just tell them, yeah, I'm working as a customer service representative in a US-based company, and these are the things that I'm doing. I'm answering calls. I'm um, handling irate clients or customers. So, ganon. Of course, they can, you can relate that to the cold calling specialist position. So, let's say you are applying as a general VA and you have an uh, office job uh, uh, before. So, you can relate that to general VA. So, during the time that you work as, uh, in an office, these are the things that you're doing or that you do, then relate mo siya sa general VA position. Then portfolio, let's say you don't have experience, you can ask, uh, you know, free works. Kumbaga, if you know someone na uh, may Facebook page, you can ask na to manage their Facebook page. And then you can put it on your portfolio in a Google Drive or you can make some graphics on Canva and put it on the Google Drive. Okay? So actually, that's what I did before, um, especially the social media. Uh, I don't have any solid experience before in social media. So what I did, uh, since I had my online business before, I managed it, I created some posts, and I put it on my portfolio. And that's what I um, show to my client. That's why I was able to work as a social media manager. Okay, so next. Don't be afraid to highlight your accomplishment and showcase your skills. So let's say you are the top agent during the time that you work in the call center. You have perfect attendance. You're not, um, you don't have a lot of absences or you have, you know, um, you're able to make um, laudi or you have a Latin owner, owner, you can just tell them that to them. And what if I don't have any accomplishment? So you can just emphasize your experiences that that may be related to the job that you're applying for. And showcase your skills. So actually, dito papasok yung nag-invest tayo sa mga free and paid courses. I really appreciate those VAs who are really uh, investing their time and their money for um, for knowledge. Kasi actually, these are the, the investment that no one will get or no one will steal you. Um, wala, hindi mananako yung mga knowledge na yun kasi you are the one who get it. And once you, you, once you have um, the, the take ng course, let's say social media manager course, you will tell to the client what are your plans and how to execute the um, manage or ma- on how you manage his account or his Facebook account. Of course, they will be impressed because you know the process and you will act as an expert. They will hear, oh, you're an expert. You know what you're doing. So, ganun din yung ginawa ko before sa cold calling when I said that these are the things we can do and we can say if they ask those questions. And because of that, I was able to get the job. Okay? So, next. Ask them some questions but not too much. Baka ang mangyari, ikaw na yung nag interview kay client. You can ask maybe one to two questions, some clarification about the information that they provided or you may also ask questions about the rate and the task but in a nice way. Okay? And then the best question that you can ask is how you can help them to grow their business. Actually, that the normal question that I ask to my clients, um, if every time I have a discovery call or an interview, I ask them, um, in what way I can help you with your business? Uh, can you tell me what are the things that you like to achieve once you hire me? Those are the great questions that you can ask. 
<laughs> Next is prepare your answer to some common interview questions. Very effective though. And I personally um, did that, especially nung fresh grad. Anong fresh grad ako, syempre, I don't really have any um, strong experience. Sa ano, kaka-graduate mo lang. You really don't know what would be the question. So what I did, I make a research. I um, write all the commonly asked questions. Then I write my answer. I memorize it, hindi by sa utak, but by heart. Kasi if you memorize it, magang kabisote ka. If you miss one word, wala na. you will not able to answer your client your client's question so i advise you to uh, write and read memorize but not word by word okay so actually on my next video i'm gonna share to you what are the commonly asked questions during the client interview this will really help you And I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show some examples as well on how to answer those questions. Okay. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah. If you have a, some, uh, you have a friend or yung kapatid mo or yung husband mo, you can um, tell him to act as an employer or as a, as a client, and you will be the uh, applicant. So just. Practice it kasi practice will make you perfect. And actually, <laughs> kapag marami ka na rin nagdaan ng interview, totoo yan, uh, maga, manina lang sa'yo yung pag-interview pag ng iba. Kasi you already have a lot of experience on interviews and you will not feel nervous kasi you used to it. Okay? So you, maybe you ask me, Miss, how many interviews you had before you get your first a full-time cold calling job. Actually, the first one, um, I hindi naman talaga ako in interview. They just um, check my resume and they asked me to do the cold calling. That's the first one, but it didn't last longer because, yun nga, I got scum. So the second one, um, yeah, the second one, I was interviewed on. Isang interview, then pasado. Why? Because I show that I am confident. I really don't have a solid experience in real estate cold calling. But of course, I have a BPO, BPO experience. That's a plus factor to my client because um, I don't have any you know, problem na in communication skills. And he really likes my talk, my, um, my voice over the phone. So um, he hired me. And actually, until now, he's my client. But in outsource ko na siya. Uh, I worked with him for almost a year. Then, nung nagtayong agency, he now sourced ko na. Then, until now, uh, actually, dalawa na yung client, ang VA niya sa akin. So, yeah. Um, practice lang. Paano miss lagi ako na fulfilled sa interview? Don't feel bad and use it as a training ground. Okay? So, wag matatakot sa interview. Okay. So, any question, guys, you just... Um, put it on the comment box and I'm gonna answer it. And if you need someone who will help you sa in your VA journey, you just message us on our Facebook page, the Best PH Academy. We have free trainings on our YouTube YouTube channel. You just subscribe and follow mo na rin ang aming Facebook page, the Best PH Academy. You, we also have a Facebook group. You can post your questions there. You can check some job hiring on our Facebook group. So that's what that's work from home professional Philippines. And I really interact with with, the, with those people who ask questions. Um, I are really helping them um, during especially if, we, if I have a free time. Okay. So Thank you so much for watching our video. And this is, uh, I want to give credit to 24-7-BA. Uh, this article, uh, I discussed the blog that they have on their website and explain it. And I give some examples and experiences. Na rin. So that's all for today. See you on our next video.